Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to declare a read-only variable with the const keyword. Uh, the keyword let is not the only new way to declare variables, meaning let, ver, var, and now we're going to learn about const. In ES6, you can also declare variables using const. Const has all the awesome features that let has with an added bonus of that variables are declared using const are read-only. They are a constant value, which means that once a variable is assigned with const, it cannot be reassigned. So here, um, yeah, let's go command shift I in here. We can go oop, command K to clear that. We can go fave pets. And then if we change uh, fave pet and we make it equal to uh, dog, you'll see that it returns an, uh, an uncaught error uh, assignment to constant variable. And so it won't let us do that. If we go fave pet, it's still cats. So we weren't able to change it to dogs. So that's what we're trying to do here. As you can see, trying to reassign a variable declared with const will throw an error. You should always uh, name variables you won't want to reassign using, using the const keyword. This helps when you accidentally attempt to reassign a variable that is meant to stay constant. A common practice when naming constants is to use all uppercase letters with words separated by an underscore. Um, that's why these are all uppercase and it's separated by an underscore rather than using camel case. Uh, so we change the const the code so that all variables are declared using let or const. Use let when you want the variable to change and const when you want the variable to remain constant. Also, rename variables declared with const to conform to common practices, meaning the constant should be in all caps. So here we want to use strict and we want to change the code below here. It looks like we've got a uh, var set to i. So um, we want to make this let because we want the i to be contained within this function, right? Because otherwise, outside of here, i will be set. So let makes it so that it's only set within here. And then we want to change the uh, sentence. So instead of it saying var, we want it to be const. And we want it to be in all caps. And uh, so right now we want think sentence, uh, this should print out the uh, sentence of the string free code camp and then is cool. And the tests, sentence is not defined. Okay, cool. So what's going on here? I've changed this to be capital, but then inside of here when we log it, it's not capital. So we should do that. And so what it's doing is saying free code camp is cool as many times as the string which is passed in is cool. So free code camp is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so now we're printing out one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's only printing out six times. String oh oh, because we're iterating up by two. So it's twelve and therefore it's printing out twelve uh six times. I hope that makes sense. Um, Console.log should be changed to print the sentence variable. Okay, so now if we run the test, it should pass. Okay, great. Hope this uh, helps you guys, and I will see you in the next lesson.